Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and Good Afternoon. Welcome to the degree ceremonies for the School of Nursing, the School of Science and Mathematics, and the graduates in interdisciplinary studies. My name is Dr. David Miller, and it is my honor and privilege to serve as the faculty graduation marshal for this year's commencement activities. Our ceremony will begin in just a few moments, but please allow me to give you some information and some guidelines for this afternoon's event. This is a special day for our graduates and a special day for you, their family and friends. Some of you are here to see the first person in your family achieve an undergraduate or a graduate degree. We want to celebrate that milestone with you. Some of you are here to see the latest person in a long legacy of MC graduates, and we want to celebrate that tradition with you as well. All of you are here to witness dreams come true. And we know that dreams do not come true without hard work, determination, commitment, support, and a whole lot of prayer. So on behalf of the faculty, staff, and administration of this university, I want to offer our thanks to you for the help and assistance that you have given these students. We know that your dreams for them are coming true today as well. Given that, we do ask that you be mindful of those around you while the graduates' names are being announced and as they receive their due recognition. We will celebrate together at the end of each section of names, but please restrain from overly loud or intrusive celebrations while other students' names are being announced. We want everyone present to be able to hear their graduates' name, and we want the people joining us virtually to be able to hear as well. And just a gentle reminder that the use of noisemakers, such as air horns, are not permitted inside the building. If you have any concerns or should you need assistance at any point this afternoon, please locate one of the many ushers who are serving today, and they would be happy to help you. Speaking of the ushers, events like today do not happen without a team of people working together. Teams from public safety, buildings and grounds, event services, public relations, the registrar's office, food service, housekeeping, and many others have been working long hours throughout the past weeks to make this commencement exercise at Mississippi College a success. Would you please join me in thanking them for all of the work that they do? At the end of today's ceremony, the stage party, the faculty, and the graduates will recess together to the lawn in front of the Coliseum. Following the recessional, I will be back on the platform to dismiss everyone so that you can then join your graduates outside for pictures and celebrations. We would appreciate that so that we can make sure the auditorium is prepared for the evening. In a moment, the faculty, administration, and students will process into the auditorium. When the processional begins, please stand if you are able and remain standing through the singing of our Christmas carol and through the invocation. The words for the carol and the alma mater are located in the back pages of your program. During the processional, you might watch for the colors on the regalia of the faculty. Those colors represent the many schools and universities from which they receive their degrees. The style of gown reflects both the level of the academic degree and often the discipline. You might watch for Elizabeth Milner, our assistant registrar, who was chosen as our staff person of the year and who will deliver our invocation this afternoon. You might spot Dr. Sarah Kimmel, 
who was named Distinguished Professor in the University last spring and who will be our commencement speaker. Or you might see Dr. Beth Everett, the first female director of choirs in the history of Mississippi College. She will be leading our music this afternoon. You should definitely watch for the entrance of the university mace, the symbol of power and authority in the university. And by all means, do spot your graduate because this is their special day. And I know that each of us want to honor them. So welcome to Mississippi College. Welcome to this degree ceremony. And now, would you please stand if you are able for the processional and remain standing through the invocation. Thank you.
Will you please pray with me? Dear God, thank you for Mississippi College and for the blessing that this university has been to so many people all over the world. I pray your richest blessings over these graduates as they complete their degrees and move on to their next chapter in life. And I pray for each person here for an ever deepening relationship with you and for prosperity and success in all things. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Will you please be seated? Thank you, Elizabeth, for the invocation. I'm pleased to recognize Elizabeth Milner as our Van Doc Quick Award recipient for 2022. This annual award is named for the late Doc Quick, a beloved MC administrator, and the award is selected by her peers. Elizabeth is our assistant registrar and is known for how she loves and encourages our students. Recently, I heard the story of when a graduate student confided in her that she had to withdraw from school because of a death in the family. Elizabeth promptly contacted all the necessary offices to help with things like reimbursement and shifting of student accounts. Elizabeth took care of her so she could focus on what was truly important, her family. We should all seek to serve students like Elizabeth has done even on those students' worst days. Elizabeth is a 1987 MC graduate. She married a two-time MC graduate and both of her children are MC graduates. Elizabeth, thank you very much for serving our MC community and delivering our invocation today. Please join me in congratulating Elizabeth Milner. It was my privilege to welcome graduates and families and friends to the 2022 Winter Commencement Ceremony for Mississippi College. This is a special occasion for the MC family. We're excited to honor, celebrate, and recognize the accomplishments of the members of the class of 22. You've been through some of the most challenging times in Mississippi College's almost 200-year history, graduates. You've endured and adapted to living and learning during a pandemic. It wasn't easy, but you rose to face your challenges. And students, we didn't do this alone. In fact, students, you encouraged all of us, the faculty and staff in this community. Um, students, you have encouraged me. I won't take the time to call out all of you, but I'll say a few words to Cameron Johnson, who has worked in my office for the last several years. Cameron, there's not been a day go by that you haven't encouraged me. Um, I'll also issue a little bit of an apology to Abby. Abby's out there somewhere. Abby has tried to get me to cheer, do a routine with the cheer squad, and I have resisted. But Abby, I will cheer for you tonight when you walk across this stage. And then there's some in this student group graduating who um, maybe didn't start here, but they transferred. They came to us from other places. Um, I've got two Chloe's in mind, actually, that came to us from bigger campuses, and they got here, and they adjusted a little bit to the MC way of doing things, and both of them have absolutely flourished. Now, I know all of these graduates have encouraged you, but I want them to take a minute to actually salute you, to cheer you, family and friends. Graduates, will you cheer for and recognize those in the audience who have helped you right now? Thank you for doing that. Um, I want you to know that you're here today at the oldest institution of higher education in Mississippi. And our graduates are joining more than 46,000 Mississippi College Choctaws around the world. Now, I'm going to take a moment and ask you to look to my left. You'll notice that the tribal flag of the Mississippi Band of Choctaw Indians is on our stage. This past semester, we renewed our relationship with the tribe. And I'm proud to share with you that this is the first MC commencement ceremony to have the Choctaw flag 
represented on stage. The, the flag design represents the tribe's long history of survival in the face of adversity and features a drum that is considered to be the voice of the people. The color red represents the blood of the Choctaw people shed during battles of the past. The white represents the purity of the tribal culture and blue represents the future prosperity of the tribe. I'm proud to say the flag will be displayed at all future MC commencement ceremonies, signifying Mississippi College's ongoing relationship with the Mississippi Band of Choctaw Indians. We are proud of this relationship. Now, Mississippi College Class of 2022, it's time for you to go build relationships that will strengthen our world to go build relationships with unexpected people to make this broken world better. You have much to celebrate today, but you have more work to do in the years that come. We want you to know that we love you, we're proud of you, and we offer our sincere congratulations today. Now it's my opportunity to introduce our keynote speaker, and MC's Distinguished Faculty Member of the Year, Dr. Sarah Kimmel. Dr. Kimmel is an Associate Professor in the School of Business. She teaches international business to both undergraduate and graduate students. She serves on our accreditation site visit team and our QEP development group and chairs the School of Business Assessment Committee. She has co-led study abroad trips to Spain and Guam. Dr. Kimmel serves as the faculty coordinator for the School of Business Service Club, and as that club's sponsor, she has taken the lead on initiatives that help share the love of Jesus with those in need. Her business students spearheaded a campus-wide Rise Against Hunger effort, which packaged 10,000 meals for distribution to sites around the world. Another initiative stemming from Sarah's work with the service club is By the Farm an effort to provide seeds, farm implements, and livestock for families in rural areas to help them become sustainable. This fall, the campaign at MC raised enough money to support four farms. Dr. Kimmel is involved in other mission activities as well. She's incoming secretary of the Salt and Light Ministry Foundation's Executive Committee, and she has served in developmental missions in Honduras and Kenya. She's a graduate of Belhaven University, received her MBA from Millsap, and her doctorate from the University of Southern Mississippi. She's a member of Beta Gamma Sigma and the American Academy of University Women. Please join me in welcoming your 2022 commencement speaker, Dr. Sarah Kimmel. Thank you, Dr. Thompson, and graduates, well done, well done you. Families and friends, thank you for everything you've done to help these graduates and for the confidence you've placed in Mississippi College by entrusting us with your precious ones. We have loved them, as Dr. Thompson said. Staff, you're out there. Faculty, you're right here. What a blessing to observe daily the way you have poured yourselves into each of these graduating today. Graduates, we do love you and we pray for you. I adapt this prayer from William Ross Wilbur that you have the wisdom of Solomon, the patience of Job, the courage of Daniel, the hope of Jochebed, the judgment of Deborah, and the virtue of Ruth but you won't in every occasion. Not all of the choices you make will be as positive as the ones that brought you here today. Don't let circumstances or poor choices define who you are. Graduates, your times are similar to those of my grandmother who was in college during World War I and the Spanish flu. This was a time in history when only 7% of women graduated from college, compared with about 38% today. She had lost both of her parents by the time she was 10 years old and was reared by her loving stepmother. 
She was only able to go to college through the kindness of a local businessman who gave her a scholarship. She always appreciated the way God provided for her and her younger brothers during times of loss and grief. She was shaped into the person that she became by those difficulties. We have all struggled through COVID-19 with losses and with face masks and with learning from home and, and with Zoom. You may have faced other challenges as well. Perhaps you come from a home where there's brokenness or a parent who's been working several jobs to make ends meet. Maybe you are that parent. You may have overcome a learning challenge or a heartache. Today, even as the celebration of your accomplishments take place, you might be concerned about an illness, a relationship, an addiction, a student loan, or simply what's next. In this world, there is uncertainty, there is evil, there's pain, and there is suffering. But there's also goodness, and there's comfort, and there's compassion. The world you're entering as graduates is not guaranteed to be bright, but your future is. I can say that with certainty because we know who made you, and he works through desperate world circumstances to raise up the best leaders. Jesus said, anyone who has faith in me will do what I've been doing. They will do even greater things than these. So as you think about what you've learned over the last several years, here are some of the things his followers have done in the last 2,000 years. Those who sought Christ, like Michelangelo, have developed some of the world's best art and architecture those who listened for Christ, like Bach, have composed some of the world's best music. Those who loved Christ organized burial societies to give a dignified funeral to those who could not afford it because we believe in the resurrection. Those who modeled themselves after Christ have given time and money to the poor from the time of Jesus until now. Those who were given Christ's gift of hospitality organized hostels for travelers to have a safe place to stay. Those with the gift of healing developed organizations to take care of the sick, and many hospitals still carry the names derived from Christianity. Those who believed Christ's words to suffer the little children to come to him organized weekend schools for child laborers who could not attend classes during the week, and that gave rise to the Sunday School Movement. Christians valued education enough to start universities like Mississippi College and Tougaloo and Bellhaven and Millsaps and Yale and Harvard, the oldest universities in the world. And they valued the welfare of the general population enough that they founded monasteries in Europe to develop good agricultural practices and teach them to all those around. Believers in Jesus' Great Commission have left their own lands as missionaries and risked their lives and their livelihoods to teach others about Christ since the early days. There are currently hundreds of thousands of cross-cultural missionaries from all continents to all continents. Christians like William Wilberforce have fought against slavery in the past and still do. Christ people like Chuck Colson have fought for prison reform. Christians like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Rosa Parks, Dr. John Perkins, James Rattling Leaf Sr. have in Christ's name battled injustices like racism and oppression. I'm here today to remind you that you too are carrying the light that the world needs in every profession that you'll enter. Put your beliefs into action, live with purpose. Never become numb to the world's needs or doubt your ability to make a difference. You may have great wealth or you may not. Whatever you achieve, like graduation today, is meaningless unless you choose to do something meaningful with it. Model yourself after those who are humble. Rick Warren says humility is not thinking less of yourself. It is thinking of yourself less. There will be times in your life when you think you have it all. At those times, remember those who have nothing. 
There'll be times in your life when you think you have nothing. Grateful reflection often arrives on the wings of loss. It will be difficult. It will be hard. It will be frightening. Dietrich Bonhoeffer said, when Christ calls a man, he bids him come and die. Now, that's scary. And God knows, you and I, we are not fearless, but we can be courageous. None of this is easy, so here's some practical advice. Frame the diploma that you're about to receive and display it where you can see it, because sometimes you'll need a reminder of things you've done well. Whether you work in the job you wanted or the job you settled for, do your best. Appreciate the people you work with, even if you don't like them. Recognize their full worth and value. You may not always be paid fairly for your work, but when you're in positions to compensate others, be fair. That said, it is not about the money. Find your identity in what is worthy. You're not your salary or your expense account. You're not your political party. You are not your grade point average. That should be a relief to some of you. You are not your education. You are not your sport, your tribe, or your club. You're not your job. You're so much more than the combination of all of those things. You are image bearers of the one who made you. The Chamorro people of the Pacific Islands have a cultural practice called inagofli'i, which means to go beyond the skin of a person. Let your heart look beyond skin color, religion, and politics. Go beyond the surface. Go other places as often as you can, but remember, no matter where you go, there you are. In every situation, you have the ability to give. Be generous. Today, before you part ways with the people who are here for you, tell them thank you. They are here for you. Many of them have given their hard-earned income, moral support, and prayers for you to be here today. You mean everything to them. Tomorrow will have its own troubles, but today be encouraged, be confident, and let your soul rise up. There's a remarkable reason that you are here in this life at this moment, and it was intended by God before the beginning of time. It won't be easy, it will be difficult, but it is promised in Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Thank you for being part of the MC family. May God bless you and congratulations. Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Kimberly Shar. I'm the Dean of the School of Nursing, and I would like to invite the graduates of the School of Nursing to please stand. Dr. Norris, on behalf of the faculty in the School of Nursing and upon the confirmation of the Registrar's Office at Mississippi College, I am honored to present these candidates to receive the degree that each has earned. Graduates, you may be seated. Good afternoon, my name is Stan Baldwin. I'm the Dean of the School of Science and Mathematics. And today I am also representing those students graduating with independent studies degrees. Would the graduates in the School of Science and Mathematics and the students receiving independent study degrees please stand? Dr. Norris, on behalf of the faculty teaching in these degree programs and upon the confirmation of the Registrar's Office at Mississippi College, I am honored to present these candidates to receive the degrees that each has earned. You may be seated. Thank you, Dean Baldwin and Dean Sharp. Now, graduates, will you all stand?
President Thompson, these students have completed all the requirements for a bachelor's or master's degree from Mississippi College. With the approval of the faculty, I commend them to you now for the awarding of the degree which each has earned. Thank you, Dr. Norris. Upon your recommendation and with the approval of the faculty and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Mississippi College, I hereby confer on these candidates the appropriate degree for which they are qualified with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining. Students in the front row will have you come forward and the rest may be seated for now. First, presenting the graduates from Interdisciplinary Studies. We ask that you please hold your applause until all of our graduates have been recognized. The Bachelor of Science, Geneva Colleen Lecky. Joshua David Walker Ryan. The Master of Health Services Administration, Deja M. Almore. Jessica Lee Landrum. Jennifer Marie Porch. Please join me in congratulating these students. Now the graduates from the School of Nursing, the Bachelor of Science in Nursing, William Bryce Axtell. Anna Vivian Carraway. Lakin Reed Dulaney. Chloe Mackenzie Gant. Abby Elizabeth Hanna, cum laude. Takeria R. Henderson. Grace Elizabeth Jennings. Abigail Nicole King. Alicia K. Long. Kaylin Laurie Elizabeth McKenzie. Emily Suzanne McNair, cum laude. Allison K. Milner, cum laude with honors. Alexa Claire Perkins, summa cum laude with honors. Macaulay Kewen Ross, cum laude. Shelby Claire Schmidt. Dimitri Devante Shepard. Please join me in congratulating these graduates. The Accelerated Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Callie Brooke Bhutan. Tamuriel Creshawn Bryce.
Chloe Grace Eubank, cum laude with honors. Ashley Nicole Jones, magna cum laude. Morgan Brianna Jones. Christy Danielle Kiner. Taylor Ray Norwood. Jayla Monisha Parker. Shirelle Monet Readers. Whitney Diane Ryan, cum laude. Deborah D. Thurman. Charles Cantrell Wooten. The RN to Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Lydia Alicia Holland. Kaisha Lynette Merle. Summer Jones Ray. Courtney Leanna Redmond. Dana L. Richardson. Haley Elizabeth Taylor. Sherry Lois Wallace. LaKendria Nicole Wells. Let's congratulate these graduates. The Master of Science in Nursing, Kalia LaShawn Ramsey. Alexa Hunter Welch. Let's congratulate these graduates. And now the graduates from the School of Science and Mathematics, the Bachelor of Science, Noel Grayson Black, cum laude. <laughs> Suhai Chen. Kyle Eric Erson, summa cum laude. Joshua Dante Graham. Anna Elizabeth Griffith. Cameron Michelle Johnson. Jamisha A. Kelly. Colton Daniel Least. Hunter Thomas Matkins, summa cum laude. Wesley Samuel Miller, magna cum laude. Morgan Delaney Newman. Bailey Marie Overton, cum laude. Bethany Lauren Prine, cum laude. Hinal Dilip Kumar Sharma. Manveer Singh Sohal.
Melissa Renee South. Alec Michael Treha. Morgan McMahon Washam, cum laude. Caitlin Grace Williams, magna cum laude. Let's congratulate these graduates. The Master of Science, Kendriana Malia Addison. Robin Charmaine Anderson. Lindsay Michelle Briere. Anna Claire Brock. Ebony Ephesians Brown. Joy Renee Bryant. Andrea Tao Bui. Bria Christiana Burt. Caitlin Elizabeth Canova. Ethan James Kazayu. Kira Monet Caesar. Dimitris Deante Conde. Francis Ann Davis. Hayden Alexander Day. Lily Doan. Amanda Jo Dorr. Jayla Lee May Driver. Sybil Lorraine Duncan. Zoe Marie Forsyth. Yaya Wad. Lauren Elizabeth Groby. Taisy Mawu Harris. Jaden Alexis Hazley. Jordan Aislin Johnson. Jalisa P. Jones. Brooklyn Janae Leverett. Abigail Marie Livingston. Jonathan Roberto Martinez. Cardasia Quinessa Murray. Kiki Myers. Tommy Den Wen. Ogechi Inzodibe. Ogechi 
Elena Michelle O'Quinn. Connor James Perino. Franchella Daesia Poe. Emily Abritt Sawyer. Summer Ann Sykes. Jennifer Nicole Sheffield. Jessica Louise Shelby. Tristan Michael Smith. Courtney Marie Stelly. Kiara Laika Van. Chrissy Renee Waters. Deja Deshay Watkins. Julius Christopher Wells. Alexis Latrice Woodard. Please join me in congratulating these graduates. The Master of Science in Medicine, Kayla Mashburn Akers. Gina Mary Ann Berkey. Abigail J. Cole. Peyton Kennedy Colson. Charlie Elizabeth Cubbage. Megan Price Dees. Breland Alyssa Dubose. Annie Robin Farley. Kennedy Elizabeth Kildary. Patrick Terrence Lewis. Christian Grace Loving. Lauren Johnson McLeod. Thomas Chase Nash. Claire Elizabeth Provenzano. Madison Trace Reed. Bailey Richardson. Olivia Schroff. Joshua James Stewart. Reagan Harden Vaughn. Please join me in congratulating these graduates. I'd like to ask all the graduates to please stand and remain standing. 
On behalf of the National Alumni Association, congratulations on completing your degree. And I'm pleased to officially welcome you to the Mississippi College alumni community. You can now join over 46,000 other alumni who are part of the Choctaw family around the world. You are our best and brightest and most recent alumni. Pray for Mississippi College and be an active member of the Alumni Association. Wherever you travel in your life, you represent the Mississippi College Choctaws. And remember, we will always be here to welcome you back home. It's my privilege to ask you now to please take your tassel and turn it from the right to the left. And now I will ask, I would please ask everyone to please stand and remain standing for the singing of our alma mater. Now, Dr. Chris Washam, professor and chair of the Department of Kinesiology, will give the benediction. Please remain standing for the recessional. Let us all pray together. Most gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for these graduates who, having come to this institution to increase in stature, knowledge, and wisdom, now find themselves on the doorstep of their future lives. We ask that you would bless them, that their lives may be filled with happiness and success and inspire them to use their gifts wisely for the benefit of humanity and with empathy for those in need. And Lord, we pray that all their future accomplishments may be for your glory and pleasing in your sight. Lord, as these graduates depart from this place to share their culture with the nation and the world, we ask that you give meaning and purpose to their work, bring joy and new life to the people they meet, Provide wisdom for them to discern what is right and the courage to follow your will in their lives. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit go with you all, and to him be the glory, both now and forevermore. Amen.
Thank you all for being with us this afternoon. That concludes our ceremony. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Thank you.